Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We are over here where the disciples are under attack, but we are not going to go help them because it's just not worth it. It's an extreme threat level. Not worth the risk. So... We're just going to hang about. Uh, let's just head up there. With lion body and the head of a man. As the oneric delirium index increases, night terrors are becoming extremely frequent, often accompanied by sleepwalking and strange babbling that resembles glossolalia, whatever that is. Many of the sufferers describe visions of a monstrous being with inhuman features that defy proper description. This being slowly emerging from a colossal tomb in a ruined city commands them to obey in a terrible mind annihilating voice. We need to help our people. Uh, we've developed a medication that can help with some of the more extreme cases, somewhat dulling the ODI effects, but of course that is only a response to the systems, not the root cause of the problem we are facing. All Phoenix soldiers have lost 25 stamina. Okay. Uh, so let's head back and rest up. You. Thunderbird, you can head up here and rest up. There are living quarters in there, right? Uh, yes, there are. We can't do anything about that right now, I'm afraid. Alright, you Gothian Entity. Man, that's a lot of stuff to read. Our analysis of the antediluvian texts combined with the knowledge gathered by the Phoenix Project over the course of the last century has forced us to acknowledge a shocking truth. The war against Earth is being waged by an alien entity. This being of unimaginable age and power is located on Yugoth, the ninth planet of our solar system. Yugoth's orbit is highly elliptical, elliptical coming close to Earth only once every 17,000 years. When it does, does Yugoth expels meteorites carrying various iterations of the Pandora virus, a bioweapon intended to radically transform the Earth's ecosystem to the advantage of the Yugothian entity. The entity communicates with its creatures via some form of quasi-telepathic signal. Evidence suggests that some human beings are sensitive to these transmissions, explaining the occurrence of the name Yugoth and variations thereof in the work of artists such as H.P. Lovecraft, H.P. Lovecraft, Virginia Gutierrez, John Belairs, Ralph Habody, and many others. This presumably represents an earlier, less powerful expression of the phenomenon we have termed, we have termed oneric delirium. We have concluded that the ultimate purpose of the entity is to create the ecological conditions that will allow it to come to Earth and have hypothesized the existence of the Gothian, Gothian receptacle, a clone or replica to which the entity will transfer its consciousness. We believe the Pandorans are already in the process of accumulating biomass and genetic material for this purpose. Okay, interesting. New research. Hello? Okay, we'll wait for it to respond. Okay, there we go. Well, something happened. Finally, we knew our enemy. The Pandora virus was only a tool. It was the hand that wielded it that truly mattered. The creature we came to call the Ugothian Entity. It was old, perhaps older than the solar system itself. On Ugoth, the ninth planet, it lay waiting. For thousands of years, it slept in the outer darkness. But when Yugoth's orbit approached the Earth, it expelled the seeds of our destruction. Its mind reached out, haunting our dreams, infesting our stories. 
Its ultimate purpose was to transform our world into its own, to recreate whatever long lost abyss it had come from. Its creatures were already assembling a new body it could inhabit. And when they were done, when the Ugothian entity came to Earth, nothing could stand in its way. Repeat. Know thy enemy. Finally, we have revealed the true enemy behind the Pandora virus, the Ugothian entity. For no Jericho, this is excellent news. Finally, a proper war with clear sides, and they know which side they're on. There's no more time for traitors or accommodationists. For Sinedrian, it's now a question of philosophy. Do they want to seize the master's tools and transform the world, or destroy this cosmic hierarchy and let things take their own course? The answer will have to be reached democratically. The disciples of Anu have no official statement on any parallels between the Ugothian entity and their dead god. The liturgy of the divine flesh draws close and they have more important things to focus on than ravings of those trapped in ideologies of the old world. So everyone likes each other a little bit less. Fine. Okay, we have some new research. Ugothian receptacle. Let's start that research. Uh, we are making the gong ears. We have one ready. So, who wants a gong ear? Yes, you do. Uh, oh. And we want you to have some ammo for it. Okay. Wow, it's heavy. Don't think we need these anymore. Okay, let's let time run for a bit because we need to rest up. What's that? Okay, you're resting up. We're researching that. We can reverse engineer all of these things. Let's just queue that up. Moon mission preparation. Let's not queue that up. Uh, moon mission preparation. Absolutely. Haven destroyed. Okay. And so that's the temple that they're building, I think. Uh, okay, so we're rested up here. So. Let's head up there and explore that, and then we can head down here and explore some more. And there's nothing really to explore out here, is there? Uh, we made it up there, let's explore that. Is there anything that we can explore over here? There is. Okay. In that case, uh, Manticore, why don't you come down here? The Jericho Haven is under attack. Hmm. Uh, just yet. A voice in the wilderness exploration site. Our observers have discovered an abandoned Phoenix Project site. There appears to be no more than a small, nondescript shack, in fact, leads to a heavily fortified underground nuclear bunker built in the 1940s. Here the project stored much of its older arch archival materials in addition to various oddities collected by its eccentric first administrator, Randall Symes. Okay, search the bunker. Sadly, a significant part of this archive seems to have been destroyed by mold. However, a number of highly valuable documents have survived, including several compilations of the proceedings of the Phoenix Working Group, one of the Phoenix Project's predecessors, uh, predecessor organizations. 
These accounts of investigations conducted more than a century ago can give new insights into how we approach our work today. Okay, a lot of research, some materials, wonderful. Uh, I'm not sure I want to help New Jericho out there. Where? Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, we have our other rifles, so I want. Uh, let's do some training for you. Uh, you get rally the troops. You get some speed and some willpower. And you don't think you need mind sense. Okay. Now on here we have you equipment. You get that. Ah, crap. Want some ammo for this, and we want some ammo for that. Okay. And then we have one more. You already have it. You're heavy. You just got it. Um. Okay. All right. We are equipped with our viral phage stuff. Now let's just see. That is on. Right, we'll let time run a little bit more. Down to 18. And then 13. Endurance will reach Phoenix Point in 16 hours. Jesus Christ, they attack that place a lot. Uh, you are almost out there. The Ugoth receptacle will be done in 13 hours. Well, you know, I would love to help Sinedrian, but I can't really leave Phoenix Point right now, so everyone else is too far away. Are you there yet? Almost, almost. Um, let's see over here. You know what? Let's. Oh. Let's help him. Let's help him. High threat level. Knight. Endoran. We've got some decent stuff out of it. So let's go ahead and help out New Jericho here. So even though New Jericho hates us, we're at war, we're gonna help him out. Let's see what we see. We see a Chiron. A acid worm. Spitter thingy. Okay. Well, where is our extraction point? Down there. Just in case. Let's head up here. Another Chiron. You are a fireworm. Scylla. 
with Monster Leap and Mindfragger, okay. Um, I'm gonna wait with you for a second. Let's just run you up here. He can escape next time. Five by five. Let's put you in here. And let's wait and see if I need to rally the troops before we do anything else with them. Get in cover. And start taking some shots. That thing. All right. We have you. So is up there. On my way. And you can quick aim and take a shot at Scylla. All I need is a clear shot. Actually, wait on that. Dang it. All right, then you take the shot. So Smasher Leg only has 30. So if we shoot here, we'll definitely hit one of the legs. Be right there. You won't do any damage because let's overwatch down this way. You overwatch down this way. Why don't you come over here? And Overwatch. Like that. I'm on Overwatch. Uh, now you can, if you come up here, it's not the Scylla that you can see. You can see the Scylla up here, which means that if you All set. rally the troops, And you, uh, let's Preparing just fire. see how well do you see that Scylla, not well at all. You can run a little bit closer, we're done. Overwatch. We can put in some more. Oh. Well. Ah. Right. Right. More damage on him. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna poop out a mind fragger, I guess. 
Yep. Arthur in there. Okay. Uh, what are they called? Triton there. Triton over there. Luckily, they only have pistols. Okay. Cairns are gonna launch. Acid worms don't bother me that much. Fire worms, they are a pain in the ass if they go off. Jesus, there are a lot of tritons, huh? And they all have pink chameleon, it seems like. No sirens so far. Alright, you can get out. You come up here. You can rescue two guys. Ready to fire. A pretty decent shot at him. But not really get out of sight. Ah, uh, maybe you can. Move down here. I'm down here. And you can get into some kind of cover. Okay. I'm ready. Let's pull you back here. Lucilla, mark for death. Rage burst. Not on a worm. Where's something under my mouse? Uh, where is Scylla? There. Hi, Scylla. Disabled the spawning abdomen. And Scylla is well on its way to dead. So that's nice. Here. You. Ready to engage. Target down. Kill confirmed. Take those out. Up here, we don't see it, but we can take a shot. Put out a decoy. Hopefully the worm goes for the for that. And you can come in here in relative safety. You need to reload. Uh, let's first standing by. All 
I need is a clear shot. Uh, right, let's shoot more in the spawning abdomen. Quick aim again. So Scylla is dead next turn, right? Yes. Wonderful. Shoot the mine fighter. Damn it. I got this covered. What are you doing? Oh, you're the Overwatch guy. Alright, end the turn. Alright, we took 10 uh, will points from them, from all of them, so that's pretty good. By killing the Scylla. Ow. And she's gonna die now. Okay. I don't really think I care about that. Ow. <laughs> Go ahead, knock yourself out, attack with my decoy. Ow. Kind of surrounded. Ow. All right. You run out. Left way. You get out. Evacuate. Comes online. Hmm. You really need to take out the worms. Oh, we can see. Where's the third one? Okay. Come back here. Take out that worm. Take out that worm. All right. I'm here. Okay. Mm. 
come down here. There you go. And take a shot at the siren. Cost you an action point to reload, so you're not going to do that. You're going to get on cover. Uh, you are unable to do anything. How many will points do these guys have? 14. What's our move? Quick aim it. Right. Gen you. I'm going to dash in here. No rest for the wicked. Take her out. And you are gonna rally the troops. Uh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's gonna ping chameleon, but... Now you can rally the troops, and you can overwatch down this way. You need to reload. You can now move, so you can try and find some kind of cover. You could do a quick aim at something, but you can also get into cover. I think I'd rather find some cover. Um, Providing Overwatch. You're done. You can you get some better cover somewhere where you're not in the flames. It's not better cover, but it's not in the flames. Uh, you. All the way back here. That one is still there, but it's not doing anything other than taking 100 damage a turn. Mm. Come back here. You are gonna run. 
run. guy is doing? He isn't really doing anything. Ow. We need to heal. Ooh, you missed. Well, we damaged him. Ow. Right, so we have two guys that need to heal next turn. That's for sure. Right now, he launches. Five acid worms, Jesus. Grenade can take like four of them. Missed. Beautiful. Oh. Please don't kill him. Alright, my turn. Alright. You. Use your medkit. Breathe. You use your medkit. Uh, let's see. You have five will points left. That is not a whole lot. How many do you have? Nine. If we can kill something, then he will drop to seven. I think we can get a few kills in. Um, you just run for it. You can actually see quite a lot of the worms, but I'd rather not use you for that. Uh. Now, let's just see this guy. He is taking 80, 110, so he's not quite dead. Put one more shot on him, and uh, he will be dead next turn. Oh, come on! What the frick? Thank you. No, 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 there, no! You. He's dead next turn. You let's try this and hit all five of those. 
Wonderful. And there's just two left there. Comes online. Which you are gonna have to deal with. And quick aim. Why can't you shoot? That's weird. Well, five by five. We're the Phoenix Project. Right in the troops. Do not give up. Give up. Means you can run a bit further. You can get out of sight. And him and him are dead next. Uh How much health do you have? 300. Ready to fire. Alright. 90 damage, it's not bad. You oh you have twenty two. If you I'm out of here. Mind control. Damn it, he needs to come one closer. Mind control you. He's dead. Uh, I would have liked to get into cover, but really can't. Just come up here. You overwatch down this way again. You can shoot at something. Might as well start putting some damage on him. Then you... What do you have? You're definitely a greater threat, so... Okay. Did I disable his arm? Yeah. Guys hurt. Ow. Yeah. 
Where did those go? Well, he is gonna need a med kit. That's for sure. Oh man. He missed, luckily. You get out. Um, do you have any more medkits on you? No. Good, good, good. I'm ready. If you dash over here, then you can medkit him. Applying first aid. Okay. You kill your buddy. Oh. Damn it. And you can come in here. If you dash. No rest for the wicked. Then he will have to where's the torso? But we're not gonna disable that, so just shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face again. Alright, he's dead. And you can reload. Another Triton somewhere there. Did we hit it, I wonder? He's gonna die anyway. Where is it? Can you see it? Where you are? Maybe not. Maybe not. You can. On the move. You come out here. This better work. Fire. There's the car. There it is. Hopefully that hurt. Anything. Hmm. You know what? Let's just overwatch down here. Five by five. Rally the troops one more time. Let me 
means that you can... I knew he wasn't going to hit that. Open. I didn't die. But he's gonna. Alright, good, good. He's gonna die, and I think he's gonna die. Five by five. But just in Overwatch. case, Overwatch. Stay. Can you hit that? Thank you. Moving out. Those two died. Guy is panicked and probably dying. Alright, more acid worms. Okay, you reload I'm out here. If you take one shot at him, he's gonna die next turn. All right? He is gonna die next turn. Confirming target. Three. Enemy down. Four. There's one there. You need to reload. And you can come out here. Can you hit it? There are two here. Hit. Thank you. You don't have any more rally the troops, do you? Nope. So someone is going to have to take care of that. Gonna be you. Oh, come on. <sighs> well, moving to coordinates. You're gonna get to shoot your weapon. Aren't you happy? Getting there. Okay. Let's just get this over with. Uh, don't shoot the archon. My archon. Oh. Out of range, damn it. Alright, in that case. Alright. You 
don't have any more action points. You are basically done. Let's go. We'll move you up. Are uh, you done? You just run. Get up there. Heading out. We miss you. Uh, ready. Right. Let's go. All right, in the turn. He's dead. That's dead. That's panics. Oh, come on, don't run that way. Oh. It's only acid. Dash up here and shoot that thing. Okay. It's going to take a while for it to die. Damn it, still out of range. Run. 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 I'll try and get there. And run. Got to be quick. And we'll just leave the priest where he is. Uh, in the turn. Oh. Well, mission complete. Okay. Oh, a couple of level ups. Uh, Chaz became level 7. Chris became level 6. Not bad. And Rob is almost level 7. Cool, cool, cool. Let's head back to the Geoscape. Actually, uh, we are way out of time, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.